In 1927, I was completely inspired by the birth of a new child, our first child having died five years earlier. And I uh, had good cause with our first child to feel that children are endowed with a great deal more than any of us know, that every child may be born a great genius, that they simply lose these faculties of genius at an early age due to the non realization of their presence by the parents and to environment. I said, I'm really going to give the rest of my life to the new young life. I pledged the both to my daughter who died and the daughter is now born. I was committing myself to humanity. Money, I think, is absolutely irrelevant. I see it's really man and his environment in his time. And you can get the environment to begin to do work with you. I had to expand what I'd already learned by a great deal. I had to unlearn a great deal that I had already been taught. I'm aiming at the kid to give it that maximum chance so it won't be misinformed and can get all the information it does want and does need in order to be able to understand this universe and operate spaceship Earth properly within that universe. How do we, within that big context, find out how we use our mind, our experience, then to the highest advantage for the others in the shortest possible time. That, that was a challenge. Out of this, then, in due course, came a great many designs because I said, I'm, I'm committing myself to re reforming the environment, not reforming the man. Absolute confidence that if you give him the right environment, he will behave favorably. I know that I could, by employing the kind of capabilities I've learned that are employed in, in building a battleship, how you do more with less. I'm so convinced that the more with lessing could make it possible for us to do so much with so little that we could take care of everybody and there need not be any of the suffering that is around the world.